Hey, hey, Tyler. What the fuck is this? What's what? What is this? Jack and Daphne. What do we have on our screen here? Oh, this is one of the greatest games ever made. Oh, shit. I'm pressing start and nothing's happening. Oh, right. <laughs> you have to press the touchpad. Yeah. God damn it. Alright. This game did more for platforming than Mario 64 did. <laughs> Before we started, he said <laughs> that Jack's hair is blonde and Daxter's is red. And now I'm upset that I'm Daxter. <laughs> oh shit, I just realized something I am now dreading. What? Technically one of the other big PlayStation titles was Spyro. Yeah, we have to do that too. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Ripto's Rage is incredible. Uh, how many Spyro games are there? So there's just three? Oh no, dude, there's like seven. Oh fuck. <laughs> Here we go again. There's gotta be a way to change. There is not. I checked. Yeah. You're in denial, Tyler. You know, I want to switch this game to Italian. <laughs> That's the strat. Italiano. Hey, pizza. Or something. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> A common word in Italian. Pizza. I... You know, like I think there was another path up there that I didn't even go because I thought that the way I was going was off the beaten path. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I think we do have to go all the way around. Yeah, just uh, yeah, smash these boxes first and make sure you get all the shit because I, I, I didn't do this because I thought this was leading towards the correct direction, but I was wrong and the direction I went was actually the correct direction. You know what? When you re-release a game, you remaster <laughs> it, maybe update the controls, Naughty Dog. <laughs> they just, dude, they hate the players. <laughs> they really do. Five, Tyler, this is the greatest game of all time. Tyler, five seconds after playing the game. Is that the war gate? Wait, it just You're opens? You're kidding me. I did that, though. I literally stepped on it. We're idiots. <laughs> we're, we're just, we're viewers, I'm sorry. Cut out the last 30 minutes. <laughs> just, dude, there's a hard call. Hold on, stop. Dude, that was a really easy level. Yeah, man. I'm glad we did it on the first try. It saves us a lot of time and pain that we could have otherwise had in another universe where we didn't do that on the first try. Yeah. I'm glad that we're super patient. Huh? Mm -hmm. And an intellectual. Yeah, stick to things. And listen to the instructions given right. by the game. I got the 12 in the water or whatever. But... I... Wait, what? Oh, this is... There are separate totals there. It's Restop. considered a different area. Restop. <laughs> I don't, you don't have to do this. You just started the game, we man. Can, we can watch uh, an explainer and get to Jack 2. We, we just started the game, man. Look, there's only like 12 of these areas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, something tells me we're gonna have to... Something tells me to blow my brains out. <laughs> Don't die again. If I die, I'll punch my balls. <laughs> balls are on the line. How oh. long's the deadline on this? All, all playthrough. Okay. If you die in this playthrough, you have to punch your balls. Okay. But only when the controller's in my hands. None of this, some of this, oh, Tyler, I die. <laughs> Two hours later, I jump off a cliff and say, hey, Tyler, catch. <laughs> Dude, I firmly believe Andrew Tate is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Really does. And also the shit, the shit where he was talking about, like, um, how cool his dad was. Yeah. <laughs> and what he describes is just a straight up deadbeat piece of shit father. Yeah. And it's like, goddamn, this dude just, I, and now, you know, I get it now. I see where this, I see where he came from. He's like, my dad was great. He hated us. My dad was great. 
He treated my mom like shit. He made sure he put her in her place. Yeah, and then he disappeared and would never come back because, and he would say it was because of her. And that's how I learned to be a man. <laughs> it's like, goddamn, yeah, dude. He's you're like, he's like, he's fucking like, hell. I remember one time when he was like, one time my dad was away for eight months and came home and my mom started to get on his case about That's the one, and, yeah. And he turned to me and my brother and said, sorry boys, your mom's being a bitch and left. And I was like, God <laughs> That's damn, the exact dude. one I was thinking of. Like, God, like, does he not like, see he that he had it? Does he not see that he genuinely had a really fucked up childhood? Yeah. Oh my fighting game. <laughs> see, oh boy. You could be better go. at Jack and Daxter if you just play Street Fighter. <laughs> we should keep this going as an ongoing joke of me trying to get you to play fighting games, but specifically Street Fighter 6. And specifically by by really unconvincing me. Yeah, and it's like. Get good at. Jack and Daxter by playing Street Fighter. It's fine. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Just, just get the big. Oh my! Just get the big ones. Just get the big ones. Didn't he say a hundred? No, he said two hundred. Oh, jeez. Okay, I was gonna say we're already. Are one. you kidding me? Do you want me to try it? No. <laughs> Here we go. Did you see what the title Don't was? click that. Revenge of the Bones. <laughs> Jack and Dexter Boner. Boner? No, that's closer to a fucking Ratchet and Clank title. Yeah, the Boner. Ratchet and Clank get boned. I, I like to imagine a universe where instead of the Ratchet and Clank series gradually getting more friend, family friendly, they just got they just kept escalating with their fucked up titles. And they just never walked it back. Ratchet and Clank Dirty Sanchez. There's just like a there's just like a fucking game that's like Ratchet and Clank Sex uh two. Uncensored sex. Yeah, un uncensored sex. And then the, the people reviewing it are just like you know, these titles are really starting to not really make much sense anymore. <laughs> I, like, what does that even mean? Ratchet What's the joke Clank, here? <laughs> Ratchet, and, Ratchet and Clank double penetration. Ratchet and Clank hardcore amateur. <laughs> yeah. Ratchet and Clank spit roast. <laughs> <laughs> Ratchet and Clank scat. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I am the Dark Lord Shuggaboth. The dark taint has touched you. Bring me $120. <laughs>
<laughs> it's fucking stupid. I will say, the, the more they try to give him goes hard. Flagellan? Flagellan. Magellan. Magellan. Flagellan? Ellen. Flagellan. I want to see this word. It's flagellant. Flatulent? Yeah, the flatulent. Yeah. The strongest someone, character in Darkest Dungeon. He gives you blight. Justin's in the flat play. Yeah, the flatulent is literally just the flagellant, but he's... Yeah. But he's a... But he gives you blight instead of... He just blade. shoves onions down his mouth. Does not eat any fiber. You know... I have a lot of rights, and many I'm not even aware of. What are my wrongs? <laughs> what do you- You know what? You got a lot of those too, Justin. Good. I've known you for many years. I really want one of these to just be Jack, or Daxter, just over your body, like, making a joke, and then he's like, Wait, Jack? Jack, please! And just starts flipping out. Yeah, I want a joke when you die, you just hear, you just hear an unzip. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty. What? Fifty. Fifty. Fifty cent. Fifty cent. Shot in the heart. And your ad is fine. Hey Justin, who's your favorite rapper? Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Wait, is Ryan Reynolds Pikachu? Yeah. Damn, that was my pick. <laughs> I want Danny DeVito to shove it. <laughs> yeah. No, I really, I, I actually prefer it to be Charmander. <laughs> but he just speaks like Samuel no. L. Jackson. No, it, it, if, it, if it was a Charizard, he'd be like, Y'all motherfuckers think I ain't listening to him because of a badge? Nah, it's because he's white. There ain't no white motherfucker gonna tell me what to do. They're like, Jesus, Charizard. <laughs> Well, I still think a Char I still think a Charmander could do that, and it would be even funnier. Yeah, but he has to. It needs to be a shiny Charmander, so he evolves into Black Charizard. Yeah, that's how the movie ends. Yeah. Yeah. He finally. That's when Samuel L. Jackson comes out. And he's like, "What's up, motherfuckers?" Hmm. All right. Uh. I'm sick of these motherfucking Ekans on this motherfucking plane. Just like dumb shit. <laughs> whenever I play, it's a hard counter to you, dude. Whenever I play these sorts of games, man, I always reach a point where I'm like, okay, so I go through some phases, right? Where like, first it's like, okay, this is kind of funny, uh, and then and then I'm like, all right, this is fucking pissing me off. And then eventually I reach a point where, like, I, I'm like, I, I can't even pretend to be mad anymore. I don't even have the energy to do that, you know? And I just sit here quietly. I'm like, you know what? I'm done entertaining. I'm just going to beat the game. <laughs> do you have a favorite boy band? We were going to say boy friend. I was going to do that. Now it's so hard to choose. Mm. No! <laughs> That's okay. I just realized you're not this level. Yeah. <laughs> We've been here the whole time. Um, <laughs> it's hell. It is hell. It sucks. But I have made progress. This is like Sen's Fortress, but for goddamn 1998. This is the Dark Souls of platforming. <laughs> Quite literally. Fair enough. You got me. <laughs> hey, you found a quick way up. That's cool. I did find a quick way up. The it's a shame the way down is so easy. Yeah, the way down's a lot quicker. <laughs> there it is. You want to try, Justin? No. I was about to drop a word, but we're done in <laughs> Just use the send, bro. Have you that, ever... That's okay. If you if you ever think we are not making enough progress, remember that there was literally an entire episode where start to finish. We were, we were fighting Maleficent in Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> uh, we, we started already fighting her, and we ended the stream not having beaten her. <laughs> it's easy. No, no, she's not. Yes, she is. It sucks. Dude, when I was like nine, I beat her on my first try. 
<laughs> sure thing, man. <laughs> I did. Look, man, I don't care. I, I understand you have dementia, but not in this house. Not I don't today. have dementia. The Roxas, the Roxas stream was bad. similar, too. I did eventually beat it, but it took me four hours. <laughs> what? Roxas. The boss? In Kingdom Hearts 2, yeah. The one they added in the remix. Remember ARMS? How are you guys having issues with those bosses? Well, for one, we weren't using the EXP items. The AP whatever item. Yeah, we eventually figured that out. You didn't equip any of the AP stuff. No, no, no. We had a bunch of a those items that you pop to get extra AP. Yes. So we were doing the loadout, but we were like 30 points lower of AP than we should have been. However, that was only like the first two hours. <laughs> we still had a lot of trouble later on. Maleficent is not hard. Maleficent is annoying because her attacks come from her head, and her head is her only hitbox. Yeah, you know what you can also do? Uh, you can wedge yourself behind some of the vines in that room, and then just hit her with lightning over and over and over again as long as you're locked on and go her that way. You know, that's that probably... literally not possible because you need to do melee attacks to get uh, magic back. No, Donald and Go Goofy can uh, give you MP when he reses. Because he has when he reses. Yes. Yeah, so when when he, he reses you. No, when he respawns because they eventually do come back after a set amount of time. So you let Goofy die over and over again. Correct. And he will just feed you MP items. So no, no, you just that would have taken easy. the same amount. Of, that would have taken did the, was cheap. That's not what I. That would have taken I'm the sure. same amount of time no. and been so much less interesting to watch. Back up. That's not what I did. I know you can do that. But I killed her fair and Need the controller. No. You're just standing no, in one place. You're no longer you allowed to play. You can't talk and play. You're you no longer allowed to play your PlayStation because you won't admit that I'm better at Kingdom Hearts 1 than you. This, <laughs> has, been, this has been a reoccurring point of contention. I'm not saying you're no, not better, stop, at me than, stop. better than me at this Kingdom Hearts 1. This has been a point of contention. I'm saying the boss you're was mad not at me easy. because I'm six months older than you. That's what it is. <laughs> you've been this way since we're a child. You've always been jealous that I'm older than you. No, we're just tattooing. You'll just die six months sooner. No, well, let's be real. I'm probably no, he's going to die in 20 minutes if he doesn't play the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. Justin, put your hands on me. Okay. I will spread those He's sheets. going to do it. You you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I only got Did one hand. You move. I, I, I can it. kill you with two limbs. Let me Come play. Here, pal. Hold on. Let me there play the game. Thank you. <laughs> I don't care if it fucking sucks. I'm playing the game, so we're making progress. <laughs> You go on. You go on the stream. It's muted for murder. <laughs> Live so, execution. So, Mr. Tyler, it says here that you literally uh, asked him to touch you, and then you um, killed him. Removed his intestines through his anus. Okay. Uh, but I also do want to point out, Your Honor, that I said that if he touched me, I would spread his cheeks wider than the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and, and then, then the defense is like, "It's true. Justin did consent to being a, a fatality." I did. Yes, but we're more interested in how you got him on the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> if you had to switch one orifice with the place of another on your body, yeah. you had to do it to live. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't ask me about the biomechanics. It's just, yeah, I've got a condition where that's the only way to fix it. Okay. What orifice are you switching with what? Uh, I switched my left ear with my right ear. You can't do that. Well, uh, you didn't specify that. I'm so specifying that. it now. Now you're dead. Too late. No, nope, not uh, too late. I'm the doctor. You're the fool. Well, clearly you're the fool for not establishing everything in Justin, the, uh, How many orifices are there that you can really choose from? Well, well, you got, well, ears, ears are the same thing. Fine! My left nostril is my right nostril. Are you happy? No, Justin. It's the same problem. This is, yeah, this is the thing you like to do where you're being anti-joke, so just not to, to ruin the human. I guess. I guess, I guess I'm ear I'm trying you to get to say so that bad. you're switching your mouth with your butthole. Please give that to me. Well, I'm not going to say that because that's obviously the worst option. That's the worst option, not butthole or dickhole. I mean, that's not great either. I'd, I'd probably ears and nose, to be honest. What would you do, Tyler? Because, like, the... I would do my nostrils with my eyes. I don't know about that Are the eyes cheap. considered an orifice? Yes. Yeah. If you can fuck it, an orifice. Uh, you can fuck boobs. You can you can fuck a wall. How would you know, Justin? You can fucking like you can fuck anything, man. I think we're missing the real problem here. <laughs> well, everything's a hole, technically. Everything. Yeah. You can fuck a black hole. Or you can go out well for you. 
The Man Who Fucked Reality, a new science fiction short story by Tyler. Yeah. Tyler, you should write a you should write a porn novel. Uh huh. Um, but it's just like it's got like the pacing of Gurren Lagann. Where it just gets more and more absurd as it goes on. Okay, and so the final one is a man and he's standing on his battleship, like, like, like Canada. Yeah, cock out. About to go into the black hole. The shit slurps cock like a fucking whore. Damn. Damn. Blake officially hates uh, Uncharted. That's it. Yeah. Listen, this I game walks so Uncharted could man. fly. If you think this game walks... I think you're giving it a little too much credit. This game crawled like a man who had been mortally wounded and was bleeding out on the battlefield. <laughs> Tyler's had enough of my analogies. Like, do you think blind people should drive cars? No. Justin. <laughs> what, I thought it was a... Pretty straightforward question and answer. Yeah, like, what's wrong? Do you think they should be able to drive cars? No, like, Justin, I don't think blind people should be able to drive cars. It's an honest but, question! Fun thing, though. Uh, my mom, because my, my mom had me when she was really young, she used to like to fuck with me a lot when, like, joking and stuff. Yeah. And I remember I asked her one time why certain lights flash, like, why certain stoplights flash and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Oh, they flash so blind people know what color it is. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And I just like... You never questioned that? I never questioned it. And then you can back it. on that. I'm like, okay, a couple of logical problems with that. Number one, how are... First off, how are blind people going to, number one, know what a color is, right? Number two, they get there and they know, oh, I should stop now. Well, what happens in between both lights? But the next <laughs> light, right? Do they just... Also, flashing is still a visual indicator. Right. That's the real big problem here. Yeah, my mom was like, yeah, close your eyes, and then look at the light, and it was like flashing. I was like, that's what blind people see. And I'm like, oh. oh my god. My problem was going to be knowing when to stop. Dude, it's going to be so fun to lie to you, kid. Lie to my kids one day. <laughs> Not like big things, but really dumb things. Just make know? up stupid shit to say? Yeah. I wouldn't do that to my kid. Like, However, I do have to admit I would be tempted. I would gaslight my children. Like, I'm not- You would. Yeah, you're- you would totally- you'd totally come on as an abusive dad. Uh... <laughs> hey, they got hands no, no, they can throw. No, no, <laughs> If Justin comes off with a dad, he'll be like, Hey guys, it's time to go do your homework. He'll be like, yo, fuck you, dad, I'll beat the shit out of you. He'll be like, okay, I'm sorry, just continue playing games. No, I drop kick my child. Yeah, no. Justin, Justin would be like, okay kids, time to do your homework, and they'd be like, <laughs> Don't make daddy go get the cleats. Yeah, he'd be, you'd come, <laughs> yeah, you'd come, you'd come down the stairs wearing nothing but cleats, completely naked. And they're like, if you don't get outside, we're gonna play the chase game again. And he's like, I don't wanna play the chase game. Get outside, boys, and get greased up. Dad's coming down in five minutes. I draw the line at sexual assault. I'm not sexually assault a child, just normal okay. assault. <laughs> Good. Uh, what I would do is I would like, for instance, with, with like birds. My kids would be like, "Oh, birds are so cool," and be like, "Yeah, birds used to be dragons before Daddy and his friends hunted them all down, and so they became smaller, so they're more removable." <laughs> really? Yeah, it's in the history books, or it was before the government changed it. <laughs> You have the power to change uh, one. US Don't say event. historical event. I'm gonna say something awful. Well, he said U.S. event specifically. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say that Abraham Lincoln invented the marshmallow. I thought you were gonna be say something else about Abraham Lincoln. I'd be like, careful, bud. I mean, Abraham Lincoln not being assassinated would be nice. I said he makes the marshmallow. I didn't say you didn't get assassinated. I would probably change You still wanted to get assassinated. I would probably change the JFK assassination. Because, Actually, yeah. Because JFK was doing a lot to disestablish the power that the CIA has in our country, and because he's dead... Mm -hmm. um, the CIA didn't like that, so... Yeah, and because he's dead, the CIA is just kind of still... Doing Runs their, wild. Yeah, they're wild. They Actually, that's a really good answer, and I think I'd like to second to that. I don't think I could think of something better. Don't worry about it, man. Death mean death is meaningless at this point. Yeah, death is just a part of the process. Mm-hmm. Death is literally uh-oh. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Um 
Yeah, I do that. Uh, I probably stop Desert Storm too. Well, he said one, so you gotta pick one. I'm just talking about ones that I think would be good. Okay, okay. Um, I'll I'll do the JFK one if you wanna cover Desert Storm. What was that amendment that gave people the one the fiction one that didn't the right to vote? Oh, right, the Bill of Rights. I would actually stop the Bill of Rights. And never stop be the Bill of Rights. Yeah, I don't think any of us deserve rights. You know, <laughs> I think that if we're going to treat one race or per protecting the people poorly, all people should be treated fair and equitably. Like, stop That's going to blow up. And... <laughs> what was that? I mean, it did blow up. You were correct. Yes, yeah, Tyler. I thought it was going to, like, kill you. But yeah, I just I, I thought it was too, I and think, I was just kind of accepting it to I be honest. I think the Bill of Rights has made people think that they're worth more, a lot more than they actually are, and I think by repealing it, we would level the playing field. A, a, a game wide nerf, if you will. I'd like to stop the formation of Naughty Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I would like Neil Druckmann to have been a board. Damn. <laughs> it was Neil Druckmann involved in this game. Neil Druckmann made the last. Of I know, game. but he's a Naughty Dog, so maybe he was involved hey, in this. Listen to this. <laughs> Bro, why did you just shit your pants? <laughs> I think stopping Mao Zedong coming to power would be good. Yeah. He said American history event, though, so. Let me expand it to. Well, I mean, if we're gonna expand it to world events, then we probably should, like, stop the Holocaust or something. But no. Kill, kill baby Hitler. <laughs> you're literally Jewish, so you're the only one who can get away with saying that. <laughs> no, we needed that. Dude, if we stopped the Holocaust, I wouldn't, oh. I wouldn't have something to complain about. Yeah, you needed that not and you know not to learn a lesson, to, yeah, but to have something to bitch about all yeah, the time. You know, you, know, you know what Jews love to do, to complain. I had no comment. I am not Jewish, so I am not weighing in on this joke. I'm not yes ending that. <laughs> You're probably German. Mmm. That'll make it poetic when what it finally about, happens. What about no or? No or? Like, no or. Like, no, like, no, like, like. It's the opposite metal. of yes and. Yeah. No or. No. No but would be the opposite of yes and, actually. <laughs> no but. We actually do that a lot. I don't know if you noticed. We no but all the time. Shut up. <laughs> I know what I said. Yeah, we, we, we do know butt. We know butt really well. Dude, I've never had my balls stapled to my forehead, but this is what this game feels like. Damn. Guess that means you're gonna at least suck your own dick now. Let us know how it feels. This game makes Science. me want to fold my nutsack like a cup and drink water out of it. Testicular torsion. Like I said, I'm pretty sure punching me your internal Shut right up! Now. You haven't even tried it once, Not so. you, my internal monologue. <laughs> Just trying to help, but you haven't even attempted the thing I suggested. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You know what? Let's make a compilation of all the time I've tried to give you advice on something in games, and how many times you've been like, Not needed. Or you specifically said, my degree in psychology makes it so I don't need any. <laughs> I'm tired, dude. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. This game is killing you. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Not in everything in this room. Yeah. Imagine if that was the only thing. If that room was the only room in the whole area. I'd be like, Open the menu for a second, just it, to make it's, sure. It's not. Just to make sure. It's not. Just to make sure. It's not. There's a place over there. Stop. <laughs> You're going to make me upset and worried that it actually is. But you wouldn't be worried if you looked no. at it. No. <laughs> Judas. <laughs> I'm, Ju I'm Judas because I want you to look at the menu and see how many <laughs> things there are. Judas okay to play this stupid game. <laughs> you're the one that suggested it. If Why any, do you believe If anything, me? I'm Jesus. Why you're, do you you're believe the one me, stabbing dude? me in the you back. You know by now. I don't have good taste in anything. <laughs> I keep saying it off. I'm Play clipping the... that audio for next time you say you've never suggested a bad game. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, did, I, I, I gave you that on purpose. <laughs> this, is, this is the grand finale of us beating this game. It's just going to be us quietly sitting here going, oh, we beat it. 
I'm okay if I'm gonna stop the series. <laughs> I thought Jack 2 is great though. It might not be. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Can you m let me move the camera? Sorry, just a lot came out right there. There was a there was a little bit that was building. Whenever you want to switch out, let me know. There was some building in there. <laughs> I don't know how they tested this, to be honest. I think something about like the size of it, the size of the pain center in your brain, that redheads feel pain more acutely than everyone else. Really? Yeah. You're literally weak. No, it's not weakness. It means I just deal with more pain. Oh, really? Whenever something hurts me, it hurts more. <laughs> I think you can. I think it also means that you feel pleasure more, though. Dude, your butts must be <laughs> My what? Your, your busts must be nuts. Yeah, I heard. Oh, come on! Yeah, the first time I heard nuts, and I was like, wait, my nuts must be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, how does that come together? Oh, I understand what you mean. Oh, this sucks, dude. You gotta make sure you don't touch two. Yeah, that's what kept killing me earlier. Oh no, this is actually garbage. The door's open! Let's get going! Shut up, Daxter. <laughs> oh my god, you are never helpful. <laughs> Never. He really isn't. There's never. He even just mocks you when you die, too. There's never a time you open your mouth and I'm like, oh wow, that was really insightful and helped me progress. I would life. honestly, I would honestly respect Daxter if just one change. All they have to do is make him actually show sadness when his friend dies, and I would respect him. That's all I. That's all it would take. Yeah, so thank you, Lightning Rainbow, for, <laughs> for, for 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 encouraging me. I was actually terrified of one of them just hitting me. And I, I had to redo all of that, dude. I would have screamed, punched my left nut three times, and then spit in Blake's mouth. <laughs> That's what would have happened. Thank God that didn't happen. I know. Because you would have been like, Are you son? And I would have been like, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Yeah, you did, and I was like, I don't know about that, man. And then I wa- and then- and then I saw the thread you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I even saw you comment something like, I swear to God, my friend thinks I'm insane. Yeah, I did. I'm like, so vindicated by seeing this dude. And then there was that one person who was like, genuinely speaking, people who call you crazy are your friends. I'm like, yeah, well, I've known this person for over 20 years. And it's safe to say that if he's in my life now, he's probably a friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah, didn't think we'd be finishing this game to the tune of a dis uh, moral discussion about free will and Stanley Kubrick, but I can't say I'm complaining. I especially like Hotline Miami's take on it, because Hotline Miami is a game that will straight up be the most violent shit you've ever seen in your life. Okay, you're, well, you're playing, you're playing. Oh shit, you're right, I am. Sorry, because the light was right in the screen, I didn't know what was going on. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently I'm doing this. You're getting the lady, though. I'm getting the cum. <laughs> cum Jack. The cum monster! It's funny that his name is Jack. You know, you know, cum and cum. <laughs> it wasn't his name, it was an instruction. The duality of Blake and Tyler. Jack or Jack? That we can have a massive conversation about yeah. life and humanity and the human nature and masculinity in all its forms, and then immediately make a cum joke. <laughs> we... Yeah. We did it in two sessions, I can't believe it. We did, yeah. So these are all the people you hate. Yeah. This is my hit list right here. <laughs> let's see, let's see if uh, Neil Druckmann's on there. 